currently about uh, 500 miles to the west of uh, Cape Lewin and um, the scientist Martin Cramp has asked us to, uh, to deploy it here since he thinks it's a good spot for the drifter and uh, yeah, hopefully in the next few years this, uh, the boy can, can um, drift and obviously collect the, the scientific data around these remote waters that um, we can help contribute to the science so you can see some of the sensors that they have under him Probably one of these is a temperature sensor, one of these is a salinity sensor, and then it will have some sort of GPS as well, up here, which allows it to uh, send back its position and to send back its data as well, uh, back to shore so it can be recorded. Um, really heavy though, it's a solid uh, 20 kilos, so it's going to be quite tricky, as you can see we're going super fast at the moment, we're only about 27 knots of boat speed, very bumpy, so we're going to have to throw this over the back of the boat very carefully to uh, make sure we don't make any mistakes but, and also not slow the boat down too much. We are still in a race. So. Let's see how no, just a little bit. Just a little bit. 60 seconds. Okay. It's like Mission Impossible. Alright, I follow you. Mission Drifter Boy. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. You want to sign it? Nah, it's okay. <laughs> You want, you can sign it. Yeah. Alright, I'll put my kit on. Thirty seconds. Oh, that's like twenty-four cubes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>